So working with dates in JavaScript can be kind of a pain. So I had a recent project I was working on where I had to do a whole bunch of manipulation with some dates. I had to add hours, add days, uh, get to the start of the day, format it in different ways. And it was just getting to be more trouble than it was worth writing all the functions for it and then fixing all the bugs inside these functions because native JavaScript dates are not the easiest to work with. So finally, I just decided to use date FNS instead, which basically makes all of this and more much easier. It makes working with JavaScript dates really simple. And it's different from a lot of different JavaScript date libraries. Like maybe the most popular still is moment.js. But date FNS is different because it, it doesn't bring in this huge library to work with JavaScript dates. It doesn't like completely use it a new date object. It just uses the native JavaScript dates. And instead of bringing in a huge library to do all these things, you can only bring in the functions that you actually want to so that you don't bloat up your application with a whole bunch of functions that you're never ever going to use. So, I mean, even moment.js, which is still probably the most popular date library, even they are, are saying, honestly, don't use this anymore. Just use something simpler like date FNS. So date FNS is what I recommend using. And let me show you how to set it up and use it within your project. So obviously first you need to install it with npm. So npm install date dash FNS. I already have it installed on mine, so I'm not going to do that again. So let's start the server again, and let's see what we can do with this. So like I said, you only need to include the, the functions that you actually want to use. Okay, so let's say that we want to get the date in here. So we're going to create a new date with uh, native JavaScript syntax, new date, and then let's log it to console right here, the date, so we can see that. Let's go to this React app, pop open the console, and here we have the current date that it is right now. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's uh, the default JavaScript date like you'd expect. But let's say I want to get tomorrow's date. So I want to add a, a single date to this. I could create my own JavaScript function or just import from date FNS. So let's say import add days from date FNS. Now let's say we want to make const tomorrow equal to add days. And then uh, the first the first argument is going to be the date. So take the original date and then add one day to that. And then what we can do here is write tomorrow. And now as you can see, we have tomorrow's date right here, which is really useful. So Another function I used in mine is the start of day function. So you can also get the start of the day. Okay, so let's get the start of the day with say constant start is equal to start of day. And then just take today's date and that should get the first hour of today. Start, save that. And as you can see, it gets the start of the day right here. And you can do all kinds of different functions like here, like add days, we have add years, we have add months, and we have also subtraction. So if you want to subtract days, you would do sub days, sub years, you get the idea. So there's a whole bunch of different functions that you can use to manipulate dates in JavaScript. And of course you can do this with hours and everything. If you want to see a complete list of all the functions that date FNS has, then you can go onto their documentation website. And as you can see, we can go to add years or just scroll down and see everything that they can possibly do. So another one that I use a lot is the format function. This is probably one of the most useful. So let's delete all this and say format. OK, so let's create a new variable called date formatted make that equal to the format function and we're going to format the date and then you pass in a string right here uh, let me just show you an example right here so you can do mmdd yyyy and this will 
give you what you expect. So let's console.log this. As you can expect, we get the month, the day, and the year right here. So if you want a complete guide on every kind of formatting you can do, uh, you can get the calendar year and all these different formats. You can get the year, you can get the quarter, you can get the month in all these different formats. So you really have fine grain control over how you want the date to be formatted. One last one I'll show you is uh, Git Unix time, which is one I, I also used. So if you want to show it in the Unix time, we can just say Git Unix time of date, save that, and then as you guess, we get the Unix time right here, which is good as a timestamp if you want to programmatically display the date. And so basically all these functions right here are ones I use all the time in the application I'm making right now. And it just makes it really useful to work with. Like I said, date FNS is really fast and performant because you're not bringing in every single possible function that you'd ever need inside this list. I think it said there's about 160 different functions here. So you can really do anything that you want, but you don't have to bring in all of the stuff when you're just not going to use it. So all these functions right here are only five kilobytes in total. And I'm okay with spending that in exchange for not having to write all these JavaScript date functions by myself and have to go through the headache of figuring those out and debugging them when I can just import this in here. Without the format function, it's less than a kilobyte. So you really can't go wrong with this. So that's how I'd work with dates in JavaScript. You can also use this with uh, CDN. So maybe you're not using NPM in this project and you're thinking, okay, maybe I'll bring it in with a CDN. I wouldn't really recommend that because when you do bring it in with a CDN, you're bringing in every single function and not only the functions that you need like you would if you were importing it with NPM. So I would recommend doing that instead of using the CDN or something so it's going to be much more performant. But you can also do localization here. So maybe you want to display the date in your local country's format instead of this default English format. So you can get the localization for Esperanto or French or Russian or anything that you could possibly want. And yeah, if you're working with JavaScript dates, just take a look down this long list and I'm sure there'll be something to help you out.